Hi, it's Angie with News OK. And Becky. Becky is our Recipe for Health food columnist for The Oklahoman. And today we are making tabbouleh. This yes, is a great idea. Well, I'm excited about it because Angie, as you know, one of the things we're wanting to do is to help people get more nutrient dense foods in their diet. And one of those types of foods are the grains. We want to emphasize the whole grains, about uh, really at least half of the, whole, the grains people eat wow. should be whole grains. And we're starting with a grain that a lot of people don't use on a regular basis today, bulgur. This is bulgur wheat, and uh, this is how it comes. It's in the dried uh, version. Mm -hmm. And what we have actually already done, we put our bulgur, we had start with a half a cup of bulgur, in a heat proof container, like a glass bowl. Okay. I covered it with boiling water. So this and, is it? Mm -hmm, that's it. Put a tight fitting mm -hmm. lid on it, and these types of, of containers work really well for that. Huh. Let it sit for about 15 minutes to just absorb the water, Okay. and then drain it. And you can either run it through a sieve, pat it with paper towels, but you want to drain that liquid as much as possible. So it goes from this to, to that. this, yes. And okay. this started out just a half a cup, so it just almost doubles in size wow. when you do that. Wow. Okay, so this is what we started with, and we're going to add this in our, well, I tell you what, before I add the bulgur, I think I'm going to go ahead and just mix the other vegetables sure. together. This makes it a little bit easier. Okay. We've got two cups of diced tomatoes, okay. and we'll put those in there. And parsley, a cup of parsley. And what I wanted to show the folks today, this is snipped parsley, okay. much faster than chopping it. Huh. So I'm going to add the parsley, but then I want to let them see we take fresh parsley just like this and just pull some of the leaves off. Okay. I'll just get a few there. Mm -hmm. And then to snip it, you just take a pair of clean kitchen shears. Kitchen shears and that's what you do, and it's so much faster. That is great, yeah. and look how fine it gets it. That's yes. great. So okay. that's uh, uh, just a little shortcut, and you know, we're always looking at shortcuts to be able to implement. Right. We have a half a cup of green onion, and you can use both the white and the green part of the mm -hmm. onion is good to use and fresh mint leaves. Now some people grow their own mint and that's great, but you can actually purchase it like this too and it's fresh. And again, I snipped it the very same way that I did the parsley. Nice. And then we have a teaspoon of minced garlic. Okay. We'll put this in. And fresh lemon juice. And I wow. always like to use fresh lemon juice. Yes. Um, and the, I'll just add this and show a lemon that is this size mm -hmm. total is about a third to a half of a cup of lemon juice. Okay. So you want to purchase lemons that are heavy for their mm -hmm. size because they're going to have more juice in them. Okay. And then we've got olive oil. We'll add this. A small amount of salt and pepper, just an eighth of a teaspoon sure. of salt, half teaspoon of pepper. We'll add that, and I'm going to give this a quick little stir before I add the bulgur. It mixes a little bit easier that way. Nice. And oh, it smells fresh. Doesn't it? Smells it? good. And you know, one of the things I love about this, it's beautiful. Not mm. only is it nutritious, okay. but it's beautiful, it's quick, simple to make. We're going to give this Look another stir. Very nice. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. And now, Angie, um, this type of a salad is really better when it sits in the refrigerator for okay. three or four hours. Okay. So we're going to put a cover on this, put it in the refrigerator okay. for three or four hours, and then uh, we'll have our tabbouleh. So best served chilled. Best served chilled. Okay, yes. Okay, great. Okay. Okay, here is our finished tabbouleh. Now this is quick and simple and very healthy, and yes. it can be used as a main dish or even a side item? Absolutely. You can serve it, um, actually, if you were serving it with a main dish, you mm -hmm. might have just a piece of plain fish or plain chicken yeah. or plain beef, and this would be something to really complement that. That's true. It could be leftovers, could be served maybe oh. uh, with a sandwich or with soup Very just nice. to go with that. Or I'll tell you something I have done with it. I have put it in a whole wheat wrap, rolled it up, and it's delicious I like bet. that too. So that's a good way to that, use the leftovers. That is a great mm -hmm. idea. Well, and obviously you've got lots of fresh vegetables. In yes, here. we've got the vegetables. We have that whole grain bulgur. And one of the things I really want to encourage people to do is try a new whole grain huh. every week or so. Just nice. something you're not used to. And this is a great way to be able to do That's it. That's true. That's true. Well, okay. You can find this in the Oklahoman in the Life section. Find it under Becky Varner's Recipe for Health food column and obviously on newsok.com as well. Thank you so much. Thanks, Angie.